Hello, I'm Brian Cogdell with Meet Instruments, and today we're going to show you the new Deep Sky Imager 4 Deep Sky Imaging Camera. We decided it was definitely time to come out with the Deep Sky Imager 4, one of the reasons being that there was a gap in our imaging lineup. Uh, of course, we have the newer LPIG Advance, which covers a lot of things well, auto-guiding, planetary imaging, and it can even dabble in some deep sky imaging. But really, we needed to have a camera that was specialized in deep sky imaging, that had a bigger sensor, that had more pixels, more resolution, and was really specifically designed for that purpose, including having uh, regulated uh, cooling. And so the DSi-4 fills in that gap beautifully, and it's actually a continuation of the long legacy of Mead DSi products with a big success of the DSi, DSi 2, and DSi 3. But the DSi 4 is actually a, a huge leap from its predecessors, and so this fills that gap very nicely. We did choose what is now, you know, a very popular sensor, so we, we chose to go with the 16 megapixel Panasonic CMOS sensor. And yes, as you know, there are some uh, competing products that use the same sensor but it does cover a lot of things very well. One of the things I really quite like about it is its versatility. It's a good sized sensor. It's a type 4 thirds inch format, which is a pretty common size now, but it, uh, not so much in intermediate deep sky imaging until now. So that's a, that's a 22 millimeter diagonal size sensor. That's an ample sized sensor. That right there is a very good feature, but it's also the CMOS sensor. It can do live video, uh, at a very nice, uh, even full frame can do 23 frames per second. I mean, that's pretty good, but you can go faster than that when you subframe. For the deep sky imaging, which of course is its specialty, it's very low noise, uh, high sensitivity, um, and it's just those are some of the, those are the key attributes, right, you look for in a deep sky, um, uh, and a sensor that you're going to use for deep sky imaging. For one thing, just to, I'll start from the surface, the DSi, DSi 4 has actually an onboard uh, USB hub. It's a USB 2 hub. And at first I thought it was kind of a minor feature and, until I started using the camera more and realized how amazingly convenient that is. Let's say you have your auto guider that you want to use, of course, in tandem with your deep sky imager. You can just uh, better your cable management, which is one of the more uh, cumbersome parts of imaging is your cable management getting it also in some of the nuts and bolts. I've always liked, and of course these are red LEDs, but I've actually always liked um, some LED indication as a reality check when imaging, even when you're at your laptop and you can see what's happening in front of you. Uh, included accessories. Uh, a lot of the competitive offerings actually don't have all the accessories, that, the essential accessories you need out of the box. Um, namely, the power supply, so we take the guesswork out of that. The DSi-4 comes with its own AC power adapter, and it already has the correct uh, voltage and amperage requirement for the camera. So it completely takes the guesswork and the extra expense of having to get a separate uh, power adapter to power your camera. Uh, of course, we do have a uh, you know, standard uh, two-inch nose piece. Of course, does include a USB 3 cable because this is using a USB 3 connection uh, to optimize the, the fastest speed possible. With that in mind, the camera is backwards compatible to USB 2.0. I definitely want to talk about the Mead software suite. So Sky Capture is the software that, that we include with the DSi-4. What's nice about this is full camera control software out of the box. It doesn't require any additional licensing. It doesn't require, it doesn't have a trial period, anything like that. It's simply the direct camera control. It has all the camera control features, being able to take all your sequences um, in any format you want, uh, you know, the, the raw format FIT, or if you just want to take JPEGs, uh, you can do it all from Sky Capture software. There are two levels of documentation that walk you through using the product. And the one I like actually, the, the quick setup guide kind of cuts to the chase and it's, and it's just showing you in the quickest and, and most stripped down way like how to start using the camera the first time out of the box. And I, the reason I mention that is, of course, we have the full-blown instruction manual on the usage of, of Sky Capture. And yes, the user should go through that, but it's, you know, it's a much longer document. You just want to start using your camera. So that's what I like about having the quick setup guide to accompany the, the full uh, instruction manual on, on Sky Capture. For deep sky imaging, the DSi-4 holds some key advantages over the use of a DSLR camera. 
Now DSLRs are actually quite capable of, of taking satisfying images of, of the night sky, but once you go to a specialized deep sky imaging camera, you have some inherent advantages. One big standout advantage is that this has a thermoelectric cooler. It brings the temperature of the sensor down, and as the temperature of the sensor decreases, so too does the thermal noise decrease. You don't have that option with a DSLR, so especially warm summer evenings and you start imaging, you get, uh, the, the noise can be quite pervasive, whereas the noise is suppressed to a very minimal uh, state with uh, a dedicated imager, and, or Deep Sky Imager 4, has a cooler where you can control the temperature. So you can specify the temperature up to as, as cold as 40 degrees Celsius below ambient, which is very aggressive, but you can set that temperature and keep it for the remainder of the night so that if you were taking dark frames, you'd have perfect control over your dark frames, which you would not with a DSLR. So that right there is a big advantage. So having used this imager, I've found uh, a couple of things that, that stood out for me that, that I enjoyed. One was the, the clean images that I would get. Now, it was one thing to know that the camera has low noise. And that was kind of, in this day and age, it's kind of an expectation in a lot of deep sky imaging cameras. But to actually start to use the camera and you see that you know real time, even when you're focusing your image, uh, the background is very smooth and clean, low noise. Then when I actually go to take my long exposures and I go to process my images, having that really smooth, clean, um, having smooth, clean individual frames uh, was really uh, refreshing. It, was, it took less work to process the images as a result. So I uh, hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the DSi-4. Uh, certainly if you want to look at more information about this camera, uh, check out mead.com. Uh, there's more specifications posted there, and we also have more additional astrophotos that were taken with the camera that we'll be posting as well. Thank you.